Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you for taking the time to come and join me. Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for October. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Take a look at the past, the present, and the future. These came out in the reverse. Okay, so there's something very, very wrong. Sagittarius here. Emperor in the reverse, and you also have temperance in the reverse. Someone has tried to come for you, or things have just been completely off kilter, and you don't know where to go from here. I see an unbalanced energy, Sagittarius. When it comes to lovers, and some sort of an ending, all right? I also feel like this is a choice for something new. Yeah, there's definitely a very bold, bold sexual energy here, Sagittarius. Aries in reverse. I'm trying to figure out, let's get some clarification as to why this Aries is in the reverse. It could be a very dysfunctional person that tries to bring you in some sort of dysfunction as well. Yeah, see, Ace of Pentacles. It's like a spiritual bond that you have with another person. The reason that this energy is the way that it is is because there's mass confusion here when it comes to the effort that you're putting into something. It's not balancing out properly because it's not faded to at this time. You have the lovers and you have the world card. I feel like Sagittarius, what they're asking you is to understand that there's a different route or a different path. They will be offering you something new here, but you might be a little resistant to whatever it is. Okay. Whatever it is, is actually going to be bringing you in your Ten of Cups type of energy here. You know, it's a blessed union between you and a third party energy or something else. If you have been dealing with a divine masculine energy, could be a feminine energy here, that didn't want you to... I don't know. It's, I feel like it's figure out the truth here with this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's, they didn't want you to figure out the truth. They did deceptive things to confuse with whatever it was that they were working on, okay? It's about to be revealed that someone actually took the actions that they did. Now, you know, here's the thing. When you're kind of a, you, if this is an energy of where you're dealing with somebody who's crooked and shysty, you have the opportunity to meet someone new. Um, you've got quick communication coming in about why someone was being dramatic the way that they were. And it's because they're sitting in some sort of an energy where they want to offer you love. They want to offer you peace, abundance, and blessings. Sagittarius, I don't know why you are in this confused state that you are, but I definitely feel like it has to do with an outside energy that is around you. Someone that sees that you're moving into your happy place, and so they want to try to kind of steal that shine and cause drama for you. Okay, I, again, I'm not sure why this person feels they have to, you know, come in for you, um, but they just do. They just do. I mean, and it could have been that you were angry. You know, you might have said something. You might have had a fight with someone here. And the immaturity that's around it, you see now that there's some sort of energy where someone just, I don't know. They, they literally tried to dull your shine. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone who feels like they know more than you, someone who wants to control you, someone who is not offering you the truth when it comes to uh, the way that they really want to communicate the things that they're actually saying, the things that they're doing. See, I told you. Someone who's lying to you. It's a vibration of seven, so they might be trying to play you again. They may have multiple options here. The drama that's getting ready to come in might throw you for a loop here, all right? So I think the ultimate challenge and goal is for you not to be immature in whatever this situation is, all right? Somebody is investing in some sort of lie and some sort of deception because somebody is trying to snow them, but you're about to figure the truth out about this person. You're about to figure the truth out about whatever this relationship energy is. Okay, and you know that this person sends you into, I don't know, you know that this person sends you into an energy of like, let me just go learn something new. Let me, let me put my wall up here, you know, 
This is my choice to make. This is my opportunity to find my blessing. I just saw the seven of wands. I told you, you can you can resist being in a nasty, toxic energy here where someone is telling you that, you know, your life has to be this way, okay? You're putting your wall up because you know. Like I said, you're receiving spiritual communication here. This is someone who understands. This is literally this card with these two cards. You know that somebody wants to bring you some sort of drama, so you're just going to walk away from it. And I feel like walking away from it, making these moves, is going to bring you in this Ten of Cups. You, you might even have somebody around you that, like I said, you're... You not caring about whatever this is, is really making this person think. It's making you think about, you know, why someone's not giving the effort or why someone's not actually caring. Don't allow, and here's the thing, if you're upside down and you're not feeling like things are working out for you, that's a sign, you know, that this person is trying to bring you in some sort of drama. They might even tell the truth. You might even have it where you're asking the universe to, to show you this truth because you're tired of being lied to by somebody. You want justice. You want, the, you want the honest truth here after somebody caused some sort of confusion. I feel like there's an outside party here too, Sagittarius. I do. There's someone else here. Yeah. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah. I feel like there's someone else here that does this work trying to, to cause this block towards you moving towards happiness. And I feel like for some of you guys, you might feel like it's delayed, but it's only for a little bit. So just consider this as taking a nap. But the thing is that behind the scenes, you're not going to be taking a nap. Emotionally, you are actually going to be working on whatever it is that you desire. You are an example for people, you know. And that's your example is a light for others that's going to help other people move forward into something beautiful and blessed too. I feel like you're starting to see the truth that someone tried to come for you. They did something very wicked and they invested in something that possibly let them be broke. So now they're going through drama. There's an energy here where somebody could have received some sort of backfire energy as well. Tell me about this page of swords. And, and if you choose to be... Um, what's that word I said earlier? Immature here. That could be something that does do, do you know, delay here. So I want to say, please, and I'm definitely thinking about your money. So, you know, stand your ground here and understand, like I said, this truth of what is really being manifested. All right. You don't want burdens from the past trying to come back and bite you in the tushy here. Right. You want, you know, feelings of reciprocity where things work out. Even if you have to have a little bit of that immature communication, you don't just don't go cold, don't go ghost, especially if you're dealing with a, a younger one. You just need to learn how to teach in a very slow manner. They'll eventually get it. I, I do feel that. They will eventually get it. There will be a lesson learned where you can move into something better, you know. I feel like for some of you guys, you, you wonder if the communication aspect, if the things that you're trying to teach somebody about how to be wise in life are actually panning out, yes, they are. This person needs to think about what they're doing, but it does eventually, you know, click like a light bulb for this person, whoever it is you're trying to help to grow up. Tell me about this page of swords and the immaturity I see here. Somebody, yeah, king of wands. Well, a lot of people around you. You also have three kings so far. You also have these two same cards here. So what I'm going to say is that this is a balanced energy. This is a yin and yang. See, six of cups again. Could be with someone younger. Could be with a soulmate energy. But someone, you two are coming together to make some sort of offer. How is this supposed to work out? If it's this person offering you immaturity, then your energy is going to be choosing to move forward and putting an end to it so you find your actual happiness here. There is someone here who unfortunately does things in a deceptive manner, you know, and it's been your lesson to learn this. But as you begin to learn this, guess what happens? You're stepping into marriage here. 
you're releasing this toxic energy of the way you thought things were supposed to be in the past but you realize now that's not working for you anymore so you've said let me go ahead and really protect myself here protect myself from immature lovers that you know go ghost immature lovers that don't do what they're supposed to do and give me the 100 that i deserve here right you're thinking about the 100 that you deserve and you're about to make actions to get it you know for some of you guys i really see this as boss energy some of you guys, I need you to be careful because you do have some sort of stalker. It could just be like social media in a way. Um, but there's someone here because of this immaturity, the actions that where it's, look, you have three of pentacles and five of pentacles, right? And then you have the eight of pentacles here as well. So I told you it's a, it's a mirroring effect, right? The drama will block you. The ghosting will block somebody, okay? The with um, the emotional withdrawal and the confusion and the fussing and the fighting. That's why it's, I feel like, you know, especially if this is the divine masculine thinking about, I don't know, it's, it's a very masculine energy here. I, I'm picking up on with the work that needs to be done. There's definitely a third party here. Somebody is going to be rejecting immaturity here. I feel like this is what spirit is asking you to do. See the truth and reject. See the truth that somebody is just not emotionally invested enough. And then they, yeah, it's like there's a chainsaw going outside that I can hear right now. They want you to cut it off. All right. This person could be trying to end like, I'm, I don't know why I just picked up on the chainsaw, but like a bloody massacre, right? This person, because of their lies and deception and the things that someone like possibly was raised to think, it's really not strong. It's not emotionally healthy for this person to think the way that they do. Yeah, and that interferes with the things that you want to do. And because of the immaturity carrying with the situation, Spirit is telling you that you do have a divine plan coming in. This Virgo energy, as you guys move into October, is going to bring you something blessed and new. Okay, it's it's time for you to just to kind of chill a little bit. It, like I said, it may feel like you're not moving forward, but you still need to be attempting to move forward. You still need to be putting in this work, even though you think it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. You still got to put it in because otherwise you're going to regret the fact that you didn't put in the work you were supposed to put in. I pro yes, you will. You you have to work on this. You've been thinking about it. You already have plans that you started on. And this is you in October seeing how all of this is going to be coming back. This is work that you did. You thought it didn't work out for you, but it did. It just took time. It took time. Give me one more for this Queen of Wands. Actually, they said the World card. Show me the World card and the Temperance in reverse, please. It's it's made you a little harsh, whatever this is. I feel like people around you might get on your nerves. You know, it could be some family members. It could be an energy of where you're stubborn um, and trying. See, you have four, four, four here. There's there could be an energy of where there's like a stubborn. How do I say this? You know inability to see something because you're really set in your ways you are going to have to change this particular energy yes you have to change this energy with the two of pentacles here and that was 13 33 on the clock when i said that so 333 three, three and 444 four, four as a vibration in october for you sagittarius yes see what i'm saying you're moving forward the work that you are doing, have done, will bring in abundance and blessing. It just feels delayed, okay? You might even have an attitude because of this, you know, and you might catch yourself at times. That's why I feel it's very, very important not to be stressed out, not to feel like things have really, you know, been set in to bother you. Things are working out in your favor. You need to just take the opportunity to see um, that positive action can come through here. Okay, taking control and being someone who is of blessed energy. It's what it feels like. Ten of Wands energy, you know, carrying around things where there's a lot of deception, someone trying to get away with something. Could be this an Aquarian energy, you know, like just technology itself, you know, trying to make you feel like you don't deserve whatever it is that you deserve. 
you know, trying to keep you in check in some sort of way with this Seven of Cups. Like, you know, somebody really saying, oh, we're not going to deal with you or something like that because of the fact that there's many options out there. If someone's treating you like that, then okay, go do that. You, you can reject this person's immaturity as well, right? And that's just healthy. That's something that's best for you. And as you begin to really sit back and think about this vibration of 444 and where your stability um, and happiness and how you're going to be organizing yourself really lies with this Eight of Pentacles, you are, you're stepping into abundance. You're stepping into blessings and your Ten of Cups. You know, you're bringing endings to, you know, hidden friendships or, or things that were unhealthy. See what I'm saying? Things that caused you painful conflict those burdens again no you can do bad by all by yourself is what i just heard okay yeah say thank you tyler perry for allowing you that emotional energy um i am actually going to give you guys a spiritual energy message to go with that let me do this deck we'll do this deck over here okay sagittarius and then of course as you guys know i don't even think i did an intro for you guys for october Thank you for all of the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. You're amazing. I really do appreciate you. Um, there's a Vimeo extended link that's going to be below. We're going to look at your other person. Okay. We're going to look at you. So intentions towards each other, how you feel about each other, and just whatever else needs to come out, you know, just who this person is and how they've been doing you and whatever, or whatever the situation might be. Okay. Let's see here. But like I said, just don't feel like you're being left behind because you're not. You're not. You're a very strong, wise individual. So, and I want you to make sure that you protect yourself from people that are causing deliberate confusion for you. That people who are acting like they don't care, okay? Intuitively, you know. I feel like you're an empath with this seventh chakra. This is Archangel Uriel. They sense your light, okay? And if this person is deliberately unhappy or they're emotionally just lacking in this energy... They'll try to do that to you, and they don't want you to be happy. So they'll try, like I said, they'll try to do that to you. What other emotional, um, spiritual message do you have for my Sagittarius for October, please? Uh, strategy, like I told you, right here. This is the energy they're picking up on. Strategy here, especially with your money and the fact that you're thinking about something. You also, if you guys are a divine feminine energy, they're calling on you to harness some of that masculine energy to take care of you. All right. You guys also might have a masculine energy around you that's plotting on you with the immaturity here. Okay. Yes. And emotionally, you, you sense something. You sense the deception. You sensed it in the past. And you said, you know what? I feel like I'm goddess enough here goddess of the moon especially with that new moon that we're going to have on october 6th light love and intuition to bring in your happiness you guys are going to be manifesting your abundance like i said but mercury being retrograde through october it's just going to feel weird right you're going to feel like someone's trying to kind of come for you but that's not the case all right these other people are the ones that are hurt maybe it's not you okay you're just hard you're holding on to I don't know. It's like their energy where they want to take from you because you're doing so well. Don't worry about it. You're going to come out of it. You, you will come out of it. See what I mean? Strong. Strength. I knew it. I knew it was coming. All of this energy that this, you know, someone wants to send your way, you are doing fine. You're doing blessed. Sometimes it can be a painful cycle, but you know how to handle it. You know how to bring in your blessings sunshine happiness see i told you someone wants to bring you conflict they won't though there might be someone confused around you that you know just tries to i don't know mess up your sexual relationships your friendships that's all gonna balance out for you if you feel like someone was trying to take this from you in october trust me it'll come back by november boo see just let it go walk away from anything that tries to come for you that's immature because you have new blessings and abundance coming through this is your happiness for you to choose and for you to protect okay these are your angel wings no one can take your angel wings you're divine you sense this person coming if there's someone coming for you you sense it you know it and you are going to avoid it and move forward from it let this person take their own karma okay someone has and i feel like for some of you guys and it's this um 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, 1933 on the clock, as I said that, they have multiple, multiple times here tried to send you negativity and done very many things, like multiple things that they've done choosing to do these things to block you. You're so smart though. You have, and there's another family member here. I don't know who this is to you, but this person loves you and is not letting you go anywhere. I, I don't know who this is for you guys, but they're really thinking about you. They sleep, when they think about you, when they sleep, they love how strong you are. They sense your divine feminine energy here. You're very attractive to them as well. Yeah, I feel like they want to marry you. They want to protect you. This is someone who wants to come in. They're going to talk to you about the truth that they're manifesting here. Don't get overwhelmed with the things that they have to say when they come in to offer you something here. The truth is, is if you can handle it, you will. That's that's about it. You're not going to let anybody take advantage of you. You're going to see ahead of time that someone is trying to um, either do right or wrong by you. Okay, I feel like you're going to feel that. But very masculine energy here. Yin and yang, you need to learn to balance it out. So don't forget Friday Night Love Tarot. The Vimeo extended link is below. I love you bunches. Peace and elbow grease.